software engineering and also data scientist, those two professions are super lucrative, meaning that you actually get a lot of money from being those two professionals. In today's video, I want to talk about the differences between data scientists and software engineers. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vicky May and I am a software engineer living in New York City. There is a difference between software engineers and data analysts or data scientists. Today we're going to be focusing on not only telling you the differences between these two roles and the focus are different, but also I wanted to tell you that how do you exactly to discover your interests in terms of looking for becoming a data scientist versus becoming a software engineer? More than that, I think that money is actually important. Well, they're not that important, but it's pretty important is I am going to talk about the salaries differences between these two roles as well as the barriers of entries meaning that how much effort and money and time that you have to put into becoming either a data scientist or a software engineer. So let's start with software developers first because that is currently what I'm doing right now. So software developers are mainly focusing on the development of a software. From the beginning of all these features that you're building up the software to maintaining the software, improving the software, scaling up the software, testing software, all of those things are combined into software engineering. Obviously the programming languages that you need to learn to become a software engineer is very different. HTML, CSS, JavaScript for front ends, and then you want to add the bat and either Python, Java, Node.js, or C Sharp, depending on what the focus that you are. So I do recommend that if you do want to become a software engineer, go check out those top programming languages that you can pick from for 2021. Now I want to talk about data scientists. So data scientist is actually using engineering as a concept to explore data and manipulate data to make a business decisions or helping business to get more insights about their business and therefore to make a decision. The main focus as a data scientist is more of getting the data and actually building up the data model that helps the business to eliminate a lot of the uncertainties in the business and help them to make a great decision. The languages such as Python and R and SQL and SQL is what is a structure query language. Now both of those two roles has their own similarities too, they're both solving a business problem and they are working with data a lot no matter if you're a software engineer or a data scientist obviously you would also involve a lot of testing no matter if it's automated testing or end-to-end -end testing to test the software or to test the theory or the data that you're manipulating as a data scientist so the second part of this is going to be the discovery of your interest. So what makes you excited? What is that little fire that inside of you that makes you happy, right? It is very important to find your interests and to discover your interests. And the way that you can try to figure this out is by actually understanding what the focus of these two rules are. I would say that software development is more focusing on developing the products and the features on the products. It's more feature and product focus versus data scientists are more focusing on the insight discovery. So if you're finding yourself really interesting in looking at data and trying to draw a conclusion on something based on data and doing a lot of analytics on data, that might be something that gives you a hint that you might be more interested in data science versus software engineering. If you are super into building things and just the idea of building things from scratch, like building a product or something that 
it's gonna change the world or not to change the world but like change people's lives and you're excited about building cool things then you might be more interested in software engineering that being said both of those rules do contain problem solving and explorations but they're just a little bit different on the focus and now let's talk about how much do you actually make for becoming a software engineer versus a data scientist I do think that there is a range of salary differences between these two roles it's ranging around 90k per year to you know 200k to per year it really depending on the location where you're located and also you know what companies that you're working for and also what type of software de de developing that needed the skill that they needed I would say that both of them are very lucrative and you will see that there's way more roles that are in software development just because of the nature of the job. If you are a data scientist, I don't think that you'll have a hard time looking for a job, but I do think that as a data scientist, sometimes it's not that easy to look for a data scientist role. Sometimes you might have to become a data analyst and then slowly transition to a data scientist. But that being said, both of those rules are very lucrative, but I think that it's more important to really ask yourself which one do you actually going to enjoy? And I'm not saying that is enjoying the most exciting part of the job, but more of like the mundane part of the job, like the nasty and boring part of the job. Okay, the last but not the least part is the barrier of entries. How much time time, effort, energy that you have to put in to become either a software developer or a data scientist. I don't think that software engineering is tougher than you know becoming a data scientist. They are both require very different skill sets. I do think that from my experience, I feel like if you wanted to become a data scientist, you do need to require a more higher education at least for the least you would have to re be very good at statistics or understanding how to manipulate data and by doing that you can require to you know have years of work experience to prove that you can do the job or you can be very strong with your academic background now in comparison to data scientists I do think that as a software engineer there are are a lot of software engineers that I've met and I've worked with in the United States that are very talented and I don't think that they actually have a academic background in computer science in this field you do have to learn all the time and it, there's new technologies and languages that are coming out every year so the consistent of learning and exploring and upgrading yourself and upgrading your skills really do put you in a good position to be a good software developer and I do think that these two rules both are requiring a lot of work and a lot of commitment a lot of consistency no doubt you know don't ever give up if these are the things that you want in your life but I do think that there might be a slightly lower bear of entries for software developers versus data scientists that's just my own experience if you experience a little bit different than I do please do comments down below and let me know and let me know your experience what does a software engineer do in a day I do have a video over here that talks about a day in the life of a software engineer and until next time I'll talk to you soon make sure to be safe out there and adios